Hello, welcome to the channel. This is Alfred. Today we'll be talking about the KY-040 rotary encoder, uh, how it interferes with the Arduino. It uses a 5 volts. So over here we are basically showing the functionality of the switch and we'll be testing the channel A and B which is the clock and the D, T. As you can see the oscilloscope is um, showing the pulse change um, while I rotate the knob uh, either clockwise or counterclockwise. It's pretty cool. Now I'm changing it to to the ch channel B so you could see so usually whenever you get a piece of equipment you you typically want to check the channel up output with an oscilloscope to kind of get a feel of what the device does so right now this is a close-up view uh oh fall off this is a close-up view of the encoder um, as you can see from the pinouts, you have about five pins. You know, looks pretty simple and um, just a very simple and nice piece of equipment to interface with your Arduino since it has a five volt power supply. So as you can see, we have the A and B channel which is the clock and DT and you have this SW which is a switch you have the positive which is the ground over there and it has a hole that you could surface mount it to your project it could go clockwise or counterclockwise so it's a very nice robust nice device all right here's kind of like um, the connection to the Arduino essentially you need the power and the ground then you need to connect the switch and DT or clock sometimes you don't even need to connect the switch but that's simple one the digital pins and this is you know how I had mine connected um, to the Arduino just running a simple wire going from the encoder to the Arduino so as you can see we have the you know voltage 5 volts coming out of the Arduino and the ground right there so so with this simple configuration you could um, you know start a programming with the Arduino and the talking to it and just getting a standard feel of you know what to do and um, what you could do with it so I thought it was a pretty um, simple connection here so here are how I have it connected to the digital pin so you could use whatever digital pin you need um, to use and that's the connection to the switch I believe we had yep so that's its connection to the switch so I have it connected to pin number 10 um, digital pin number 10 then that will be the um, I believe that will be the DT connection which is the channel B then the black wire or gray wire there is um, clock pin which is um, channel number A so those those two pins they help to determine whether the rotary is going clockwise or counterclockwise and you can handle all of that in code and um, here you go you can also do a clockwise rotation counterclockwise rota rotation or push button 
and all that function you could record it so that that's all i have for today just showing you the wiring um the typical wiring of this encoder hope this was helpful all right bye bye and don't forget to subscribe bye